Hi, it's Elisa, resident foodie and hoarder. This is a pumpkin dump cake, and it just came out of the oven. Come along and see how it all came together. Here are the ingredients that you'll need. You actually aren't going to need all of them because I have some nuts sitting there that actually I'm not even going to use all of them. But the recipe that I'm going off of is I have no idea where I got it. It's actually just one that I had written out that I found in my recipes on this little sheet of paper. And so if you have never done a dump cake before, you are going to love this. Dump cakes are super easy. Yeah, in fact, a lot of times I will just use a yellow cake mix and any type of fruit and butter. So I'll just use three ingredients a lot of times, but this recipe is awesome. And so you are going to need one can of pumpkin. This one had a dent in it, so it got bumped to the front of the line as far as uses go at our house. Um, a 12 ounce can of evaporated milk, four eggs, which I totally forgot to put out here. So we need four eggs, <laughs> a half a teaspoon of nutmeg, two teaspoons of cinnamon and one teaspoon of allspice I don't have any allspice and so I have ground cloves sitting here because I am going to mix it with the other two and make me some allspice I just never have allspice for some reason of one box of yellow cake mix a cup of melted butter so you're gonna want two sticks of melted butter so I have the equivalent of a stick there and then another stick here and then one cup of chopped nuts, which obviously that doesn't have to be measured out and you don't even have to use them. Okay, so what we're gonna do is mix these six ingredients right here together. So I just melted the butter in the pan. Actually, my directions say to use a nine by 13, but um, two reasons I'm using this one. One, it's clean and two, my 9x13 does not have a lid, and I'm wanting a lid to go on this after I'm done. So, because I had some other things to do, I said I just went ahead and melted it in the oven, and that will also serve for buttering the dish. Okay, so I have all of these ingredients mixed together, kind of the best that they can. There's this film of buttery goodness. We're just gonna sprinkle, oh no. We're just gonna sprinkle the cake mix in. I'm gonna sprinkle a couple of walnuts on the top of it. So this is gonna go in at 350 for one hour. Okay, take a bite. This is a pumpkin dump cake. Yummy. I like it, but. Is it still kind of hot? It's really good. It is really good. Well, thank you for watching and come join us tomorrow when I will do another Thanksgiving idea for the 30 days of Thanksgiving. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Anybody know where my gloves are? You're gorgeous. I'm gorgeous. You're gorgeous. What? What? We're both gorgeous. <laughs> what are you talking about? I, I already got the camera on, okay? Can I pick up my fork now? You can pick up your fork now. <laughs> I can name all the ingredients for the people. You can? Uh -huh. What are they? I already picked them up, so you're not going to look around and see them. I'll have another video out tomorrow. Okay.